guys so in this tutorial i'll show you how you can constrain your design from mobile to tablet to desktop all right so let's get into the video So guys, before we dive into our video, let's have an understanding of what constraints is about. Constraints tell Figma how layers should respond when you resize their frame. This helps you control how designs look across different frame sizes and devices. So in a layman's language, constraints means limitation or um, restriction so with this understanding in sigma what constraint does it helps you it helps to control your design when you resize your frame as mean you design on a mobile frame i want to um i want to have it in tablet and also in desktop with the use of uh, constraint when you apply constraint to that frame you can resize that mobile frame to tablet as well as to desktop and it will keep the design resistant well. Alright. Alright guys, so let's get started. Okay, so when you want to have different versions of design in different um, devices, it's always good for you to have it first on the mobile app. The reason being that many users they make use of their um, mobile device than desktop or tablet so it's always very good to have it well fitted in a mobile design first before you now transition to other devices okay so i don't want to waste much of our time so we're just going to uh, design a very simple music uh, mobile uh, version of a frame so we come here let's see
So what we do is we come to the uh, play button. Okay, so we want it to be at the center when we move in and out. Okay, move in and out. Okay, so here we are going to put it to center. Okay, this we are going to also put it to center. All right, so now we come to this. So for this um, rectangle now, we are saying that when we want to resize it, we want it to scale accordingly. Okay, so we come to this horizontal um, left. We come to this horizontal. We come to this horizontal arrow left. We change it to scale. We also change the vertical scale. Okay, so for this cell music um, icon, let's constrain it to the right, but at the right side of the frame. Okay, and the vertical, let's position it to bottom because we want it to maintain where it is at the bottom. Okay. So for this aspect, we come here, we put it to left, but at the left. You can see this text at the left. Okay. And then also we want to we want to put it to top and bottom because we want this top um, title and this bottom uh, text to fit in when we move it to when we resize it. We want it to fit when we resize it. Yeah. All right. So now that we have constrained our um, design, okay. So let's have it in different screen, in different uh, dimension, like in tablet. And also in uh, desktop okay so for us to do that we are going to duplicate this um, our mobile frame let's duplicate ctrl D for us to duplicate so we have it so now for us to take it to dimension of tablets so we just drag okay so let's assume this is the dimension for for tablets can you see so you don't even need to stress yourself trying to move this adjust that so it's definitely with fitting ctrl d again let's take this to desktop dimension okay all right that's too much okay So let's just assume that this is our desktop dimension. Okay. So guys, we have it. So that's the advantage of constraints. You can have your design in different screen sizes. So guys, with the use of constraints, we have our design from mobile to tablet to desktop, okay? So that's the end of the video. Please don't forget to put on your notification button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you can share with your friends that you know that actually need tutorial ID, okay? So thank you. See you in the next video.